Hi, welcome back to yet another episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy with the Edelman Planetarium. Have you ever flown a kite and gotten it stuck in a tree? How about flying it so high that it gets stuck in the sky? Today we're going to be talking about a constellation which looks a lot like a kite, Bootes, the herdsman. You can find Bootes pretty easily this time of year. First, find the Big Dipper. Then, follow the three stars in its handle and arc to Arcturus. Arcturus is the brightest star in Bootes, and the fourth brightest star in the night sky. From here you can easily see the kite-shaped body of Bootes. To the ancient Greeks, Bootes was either a herdsman or a plowman, depending on who you asked. The name literally translates to ox driver, as one of his jobs was as the driver of the oxen pulling the plow, represented in the sky by the same seven stars that today we call the Big Dipper. The constellation itself faces in a direction outward from the Milky Way, so you won't find any nebulae near it. Something you might be able to find, though, are some double stars, pairs of stars that appear very close together in the sky. Some double stars are pairs of stars close together, orbiting each other, also known as binary stars, while others are two stars that are different distances from Earth, but line up from our perspective. Conveniently, we can find three of these stars in a straight line. The first stop on our journey is the star Princeps, located at the right shoulder of Bootes, or his left from our perspective. To our eyes it looks like one star, but using a telescope you'll find two stars close together. Next up, Alcalorips. You can find this one just above the shoulder. Using a telescope you can make out what looks like a double star, but one of the stars you see is actually a pair of stars too close together to tell apart. Alcalorips is a trinary star, meaning it is a star system made of three stars in total. The last stop is about the same distance, in the same direction. Here we find New Bootis. Unlike the last two, New Bootis doesn't actually refer to a single apparent star or star system. In dark skies you should see two stars, one white and one orange. Both appear to be almost exactly the same brightness, but the orange star is nearly 840 light years away, almost twice as far as the white star, which is 415 light years away. These stars are completely unrelated, but are no less fun to look at. Without a doubt, though, the star of the show in Bootes, pun intended, is Arcturus. Arcturus is rather close to Earth, about 37 light years away, and at 7 billion years young, this star has been around for over half the life of the universe. Arcturus is what's known as a red giant, meaning it's in a later stage of its life and has swelled up in size to about 25 times as large as the Sun. Incidentally, it's about three light years away from another star, Mufred, also in Bootes, and from Mufred, Arcturus would appear as bright as Venus does from Earth. So go out some night and take a look around Bootes. Even better, use some binoculars if you have them. Even though galaxies, nebulae, and planets often steal the limelight, the astro part in astronomy means star, and in Bootes the stars are certainly deserving of your interest. Thanks for being with us today. We'll be back soon with another episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy. We hope to see you again.